Hey guys, MoviePan here to talk to you about something that's a little overdue. And that would be the Dr. Seuss books. And no, I'm not going to talk about how awesome they are or how legendary they are, because we already know that. Instead, I'm talking about the ones that got cancelled because of controversy. Now, it's no secret what happened and why. Although, Dr. Seuss Productions, they're not really coming out to say which... Uh, pictures are the real problem here, or words for that matter. I don't like stuff being taken away just because of controversy. The way I see it, especially now, there is a way that we can have those books back without offending people. And it's really simple. All we have to do is a little editing work. And if you think it's difficult, no, it really isn't. Here, let me show you what some of the problems are. Now, I can't find everyone that's the real problem here because, you know, I keep getting this and that, you know, a bunch of people saying this is offensive, that is offensive, and sometimes they're right and sometimes they're probably just talking out of their butts because it's the whole woke mob. That's all that's going on here. Let me give you a little example here. This one from McKilligan's Pool, the uh, Eskimo fish. Okay, I know. Back then, that was acceptable. These days, that's offensive. Well. That's a simple fix. All you got to do is just rub out that word Eskimo and put in something like, I don't know, Arctic fish or furry Arctic fish or furry fish. Just something that kind of gives meaning to them uh, having fur and all that and the fact that they live up north. Oh, and here's this one for if I ran the zoo. Let's see. Helpers with their eyes in a slant. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty bad to say that. That really is. Plus, you got the image to the left here. That's uh, that's pretty offensive, yeah. Can't deny that. Well, we could easily erase that guy, that's for sure. And as for the line, well, I'm sure somebody could come up with a rhyme that actually works without uh, bringing that old uh, thing in. I'm pretty sure it could be done. And, of course, we got the story, and to think I saw that on Mulberry Street. This uh, picture here is an old brand here. A Chinese boy who eats with sticks. And he's clearly colored yellow. Yeah, all right, all right. Can't deny that one. That's pretty bad. So, but there's an image back here. And I don't know if this was like a redo that somebody did or something happened later on. But the one in the back there that says a Chinese man who eats with sticks, that's actually a little bit better. Because one, the look doesn't look so bad. In fact, I'd say it's pretty good, actually. And for the record, people, Chinese people, in fact, everybody in the Orient does still eat with chopsticks. So if sticks offends everybody, get over it. It's the real world. They do eat with chopsticks. Heck, even here in America, when we go eat Chinese food, we eat with chopsticks. If sticks offend you, get a life. That's what you need to do. As for the image, I think this is an improvement that can be used especially since it was changed from boy to man. Now, then there's this infamous picture. This one definitely speaks for itself. But you know what? That can easily be taken care of. We can easily just erase the offensive images there and just quickly put in posts, as if this bird is sitting on a pole, which is sitting on posts. I just did this with Microsoft Paint. And Microsoft Paint, as everybody knows, is very cheap software. It's so cheap, it's pathetic. I mean, there's Photoshop, which is a heck of a lot better than that. There's no denying it. And all kinds of, you know, editing artworks and video editing tools that do so much better than Paint. And yet, look what I did. I literally erased an offensive image and just put two posts there. They're not perfect, but the point is, it worked. And the color scheme worked too. It is exactly the same, just the way it should be. And then there's this image, which I don't see anything wrong with it at all. This is from Scrambled Egg Supper. Basically, what we see here is a bunch of people in furry coats trying to get an egg. Now, a lot of people are claiming that this is offensive to the people up north. And with all honesty, I think they're overreacting because... Do they look like they're cliche uh, Eskimos? No, they don't. If anything, they look more like 
Explorers of the Arctic. Newsflash, people. This book was made back in 1953. And how, how was the best way to explore the Arctic tundra? Hmm. Oh, yeah. You wore fur coats. And that's a stone cold fact. They had to wear fur coats in order to survive up there. So they are clearly overreacting. Now, if they made them look offensive, like they gave them some pretty bad faces or something, or actually said, well, you know the word, then we'll talk. But I'm not seeing this here. I don't see that word used at all. All I'm seeing is a bunch of people in furry coats and pants because it is freaking cold up there. And need I remind everybody, this was before they had coats that they didn't need all that fur to protect you from the Arctic tundra. Back then, that was the only way to do it. So they're overreacting big time. Now, I think I could speak for a lot of people when I say that it's a shame that the books are gone and I want them back. And this proves that there is a way to get them back. All you got to do is just erase the offensive images and words, do a little rewrite, do a little editing, and we got our books back. Some people have actually proposed this, but for some reason, nothing's come up since. There's no indication that the publisher is going to do it or not. And frankly, I think they should. Let me know what you think. This is Movie Fan, signing off.